Hi guys, my name is Dr. Sajad Patan and today we will look at high yield anatomy related to the ankle joint. Let's start. First question, ankle joint is stable in dorsiflexion. Is that a true statement or a false statement? The Arkham curriculum straight away states this fact that an ankle joint is stable in dorsiflexion and that's a true statement. What scenario could be presented while you're working? You might come across a scenario where a woman was wearing a high heel that's in unstable position because ankle joint is stable in dorsiflexion. So she's come wearing high heels, putting her ankle at plantar flexion, walking down the stairs and then she twists her ankle. What do we get? We get an injury called as Liz Frank injury. This is an unstable injury. If you look at that x-ray, there is a widening gap between the first and the second metatarsal. So uh, Liz Frank injuries needs to be referred to the orthopedic surgeons. Let's look at some more facts. How about the ankle reflexes? Ankle reflex, which is the uh, Achilles tendon reflex, is innovated by S1 and S2. Most commonly, it can be seen with disc protrusion at L5 S1 level. It is classically depressed in hypothyroid. So here you get a link of ankle reflex with thyroid gland. Let's move ahead and look talk about ankle movements. So the ankle movements, the dorsiflexion of the ankle, the dorsiflexion of the ankle is carried out by the peroneal nerve, whereas the plantar flexion is carried out by the tibial nerve. So remember, tip, tibial nerve, plantar flexion, ped, peroneal nerve, dorsiflexion. If there is a common peroneal nerve injury at the proximal fibula, Look at the plaster cast extending up to the popliteal fossa and that can lead to a common peroneal injury that will lead to foot drop. So peroneal injury will lead to foot drop because the patient is unable to dorsiflex. Last concept for the today is Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon rupture. We see that quite often in the department, especially between the age group of 45 to 60. It's very easy to rupture and the patient usually complains of as if someone has kicked back of my leg. When they turned around, there was nobody. Or somebody may say, I was running around and I heard a pop at the back of my leg. Commonly implicated drugs are quinolones, steroids and statins. What you do is do a calf squeeze test, which is called as Thompson test. When you squeeze the calf, the ankle doesn't move. What, how do you treat these? You put them in an equinus cast. An equinus cast is you put the foot in the plantar flexion. So you are actually putting a plaster with the ankle joint in an unstable position. <laughs> so this was the position where the woman wearing high heels twisted her ankle but that's the way you treat the Achilles tendon rupture and then bring them back to the fracture clinic. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much. If you like this video subscribe, like and share and put in your comment what next would you like to see. Thank you. Have a good day.